Hey everyone, my name is Danny, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Framer Auth plugin to create a membership site inside of Framer. And this is going to allow you to lock your exclusive content and require someone to sign up or complete a purchase to access it. So I have my landing page here and down here I have this little section that says people can get access to some eBooks that I have. So I have these three different eBooks. But the experience that I'm going for is I want people to be required to sign up for a free account in order to gain access to these eBooks. The idea is once this is clicked, it takes them to the sign up experience. So I'll go ahead and launch the Framer Auth plugin. I can just continue as a guest for now, and then later I'll go ahead and actually activate the features that we add. So to start, I already have a page created for sign in, and I'll just go ahead and drag this component onto my page. So now that I have the sign in component, in order to stylize it, I've already stylized one of them. So I could just go ahead and copy that styling and paste it onto here using Option Command C, Option Command V. And if you'd like, all you need to do is stylize one of the components, and then you can do this for all of them just to quickly copy and paste the styling. We're going to do the same thing for the sign up page. So make sure you have pages for sign in, sign up, and they are named exactly the same as this. So I'll drag in my sign up component, and same thing, I can just copy that styling and paste it onto here. And if you don't have some styling already, you can use the blocks file created by Framer Auth. And this just has like a whole bunch of really cool sign in, sign up experiences that you can clone for free into your project. Or if you'd like to do all the styling, then you can do it very quickly just using these controls right over here. So you've got input, label, button. So for now, we just want to have sign in and sign up for this tutorial. But you're also going to want a forgot password page and an update password page that will allow people who are trying to sign in but don't remember their password to reset it. You'll also want the member profile page, which allows people to update their email and their name. And the activate license component allows people to upgrade their account, um, add different variants, or um, if their subscriptions expired, they can add a new license key to reactivate their account. We're not going to need that though for this tutorial because we're allowing our members to sign up for free without requiring a purchase from Lemon Squeezy. So next up we have the overrides. Go ahead and copy this file. Go over to assets, come down here to code, and we'll add a new override file and just call it Framer Auth. Click create. Now you can just delete everything in here and then paste that and press Command S to save it. So now let's go back into our project and we'll go back into the plugin. The next step is we need our sign up, sign in, and sign out buttons. So I can just do this inside of my navigation. I'll just duplicate this button I already have and I'll remove the icon and I'll just call this one sign in. The next one I'll call sign up. And the last one we'll call sign out. And you can use any buttons that you already have in your project for this. I'll just go ahead and set these links as well. So we want this to go to our sign in page. We want this to go to our sign up page. And we want this to have no link. Next, we need to add some overrides to these. So I'll just select all three of them, connect them to the Framer Auth override file. So for the sign in one, I'm going to use with logged out because I want that to be shown to logged out users. Same for the sign up button. I want my logged out users to see it. And the sign out button, I'll just add with sign out and that will sign the user out of their account. Great. So now I have my navigation set up and I have my sign in and sign up pages. What I want to do now is actually activate this and start testing it out on my URL. I'll just go here to activate, type in my email, and click Start Free Trial. Once you've started your free trial, you'll receive a one-time passcode into your email. You can then go ahead and paste this into the plugin, and now we're signed in. So I'm immediately seeing a message that says the Framer Auth snippet is missing. This is true because it hasn't been added yet. So I will click Add, and now if I click View, You'll see the custom code has been added to the start of the body. I'll come back out here, 
pull up the plugin again. Now it's telling me that my details don't match. I'll go ahead and click fix and I'll click sync project details. So now my project details have been synced. The live website is the URL that we're gonna be using when we officially launch this. So this in your case would probably be something different like a .com, but for this tutorial, we'll keep the test website as it is. So you'll see some settings here. The toggle between test and live mode basically means if you're in test mode and you start locking pages, that will only lock on your test website and same thing for live mode vice versa if you're in live mode and you start locking pages it will only lock on your live mode the project name is what we will use if someone resets their password for example they'll receive an email from you so the project name is kind of important i will rename that and click save so make sure that is relevant to your project so now we have our website, everything is connected. We have our overrides and everything set up. So I'll just click publish here and we can go ahead and start testing it. So now I'm on my website, it's asking me to sign in and sign up. I'll go ahead and add my name here. I am now registered on this website that I've created so I now have just the ability to sign in and sign out. So none of the other functionality has been added yet. We just have the ability to sign in and sign out. So if I go here and go to sign in, I can test that out as well. If I sign in, you'll see I'm now signed in. So I don't have a redirect on this component, so we'll wanna add that as well as we go in to make our next round of edits. So I can now go ahead and just close the plugin for now. I wanna go back to my sign in page and I did want to add a redirect there, so I'll just redirect there to the home page. And if I go home, what I wanted to do is show a locked version or an unlocked version, depending on if someone's logged in or not. I'll take this button here and I'm gonna put it inside of a stack and set the contents to fit. And now I can turn this stack into a component. So I'll just call this my locked button. So now I'll create a new variant and I will set the first one to be the unlocked version. So I will just say access ebook and I'll remove the icon. And here I'll say unlock ebook and I'll show that icon. So I'm gonna rename these to be unlocked and locked. So now I have my two variants. I can make these look however I want, but for now, I think that's good. I also want to add two different links here. So I have the first link. I'm going to create a variable and call it unlocked. I'm going to create a new one and we'll call it locked and you'll see why in a second. So the first one, I want that to go to unlocked, but the second one, I want it to go to locked. And the reason being is because here I can now set my unlocked one to go to the actual content and my locked one, I want it to go to my sign up page in this case. Or if you were charging your users, it would go to the upgrade page where they could purchase a subscription. So now I want to set this to be locked by default. It should be set to the locked version. And now I'm going to go to my overrides, use Framer Auth, and I'm going to add with variant. So what with variant does is basically if someone's logged in, it shows them the first variant which is our unlocked version and if they're logged out it shows them the other variant which is the locked version there's also another one in here called with variant active license which is the same thing except if someone hasn't purchased a product yet and doesn't have a license then it will show them the locked version so for this case everything looks good i have it set to my sign up so I can now go ahead and publish this again. And if I go back into my website, you can see I'm signed in. So I should have access to this ebook and it looks like I do. So if I go back here and sign out, come back down here, you'll see it says unlock ebook and I do not have access. And if I click that, it takes me to the sign up page. 
So everything is working very nicely. That's how we would expect it to work. But there's one more thing that we want to do. So I want to come in here and go to my blog pages. I'm going to come in here to the blog and open the Framer Auth plugin again. I can come over to pages and I want to lock these three ebooks that I have so that even if someone has a link to access it, they won't be able to access it unless they sign up for an account. So I'll just go ahead and click save there. I want to do this for all three of them. And if you'd like, you can go to the website, clicking here, going to all pages, go to our dashboard, and then you can lock pages a little bit faster over there if you have a lot of different CMS items you want to be locking. So I have all of my different pages here locked. I can now click publish and go to my website. So if I go here, you'll see it, it redirected me there to a page called Access Denied. So that basically means I tried to access a page I don't have access to. So what I can do here is I'll just create a new page inside of my website and I'll call it Access Denied. And then you can stylize this however you like. Beautiful. So now that I have my Access Denied page configured as I'd like, I can go ahead and sign in. And once I'm signed in, now I'll be able to access each one of these eBooks and you'll see I have access to the link. And if I copy this link and paste it, you'll see I still have access. But if I was to sign out and paste that link, it brings me to the access denied page. So everything seems to be working really nicely. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. There's more that can be added to this, of course, to make it more personalized and more sophisticated. But for starters, I think this is a really cool website and there's a lot I can do here. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.